still compiling my first impressions. But even their body language is so emotional. I can't wait for my first session with John. Aya has so much back. We might have a problem. I was running some numbers, mass balances and such. The Tempest is carrying about 70 kilos of extra mass. I think something's aboard that doesn't belong. Is it a problem that we're carrying extra mass? Not mechanically, but, but something heavy and unexplained? That's not good. Our internal sensors aren't getting anything, but they're not as powerful as a Pathfinder's scanner. Can you take a look? All right, I'll look around the ship and see what I can find. Ryder. I should get back to things. Sounds good. Sam's been compiling our star charts. The other pilots on the Nexus will have plenty of new trails to follow. You can drop the charts off the next time we're there. Funny. A few months ago, that station was like a war zone. Flying was my only way to escape the chaos. Now it's become a haven, just as it was meant to be. Every good space station needs a big lake, maybe some fountains. Indeed. Even non-amphibians need a little water. Regardless, the worst threat to the whole initiative is still that monstrosity. You mean the Scourge? I still see it crippling the Nexus in my memories. I had to train other pilots in hazardous flight techniques just to look for food and water. It's a cage that eats good ships and good people. Helios won't be home so long as it's a threat. It's a huge space anomaly. It's not going away in anyone's lifetime. If we could somehow neutralize it, or if our ships had defenses against it. Still, that's what we do, isn't it? Find a way where there is none. Just see the Nexus for proof of that. Oh, the ship manual's useful. That leg of my workbench needed propping up. If you bothered reading it, you'd know that the Tempest is an orchestra of new tech. You can't just meddle with... I got this ship launch ready in record time, Kalo. I know my stuff. And you don't have a shred of respect for other people's. Kalo? Oh, Ryder. Sorry you had to hear that. What can I do for you? What do you think of the rest of the crew? Jal has all sorts of questions about the ship. I gave him some technical manuals. He tore right through them. I should ask him about Angarin ships. Imagine something actually designed to handle that damn scourge. I'll let you concentrate. You know where I'll be. So, Jal. So. We haven't had a chance to talk alone. You comfortable in here? I took it. It feels strange to stay with the others. They are... you are... aliens. And you're alien to us, so... there. We have something in common. Uh, we can look at it as a place to start? Got it. Perhaps then, if we're all aliens, it's about... What kind of alien we are? You had no idea about us, but you signed up to help us anyway. Perhaps it had nothing to do with you. Care to elaborate? I do not. How do you know Moshe Isefa? She's our greatest mind on the Remnant. I was his student. You studied the Remnant too? <laughs> A little. I was terrible. I quit. Or she threw me out. One of those. We're still very close. So, is that your rifle? It is now. It's Ket. With my own modifications. I like to tinker, to get my hands on something and... 
take it apart. That's a skill I know we can use. But I have one request. Please don't take apart my ship. <laughs> You're right. I signed up. Uh, volunteered for this. It's uh, exciting. There's something unique about you. Uneasy, raw, but somehow profound. Base value? That sounds like a compliment. A nice one. It is. Angara feel deeply. We have <laughs> more trouble hiding our emotions than showing them. I should get back to my work. When we have downtime, I'd love to watch you work. Sure. I could show everyone. Um, no. Just us. So we can get to know each other better, or just share a hobby. Oh. Mm, of course. Good. Good. Yes? What's your story, Jal? Tell me about yourself. Why? Well, why wouldn't you? You hiding something? Maybe. That would only make sense. I was born on Earth, third planet of the Soul System in the Milky Way. Hmm. That's interesting. Thank you. That's enough. Until we've established a better trust with each other. Lexi to do a psych review? <laughs> Maybe. People have been telling me I'm crazy my whole life. Just dealing with some scourge issues. That Archon fella tried to warn you not to joyride into it, but you were just la la la. It was an act first, think later move. I respect it. Well, more like I resemble it. <sighs> hey, you play poker? Come again? Poker. Card game, bluffing, betting. It's an age-old measuring stick of a person's character, fortitude, guts. Used to think maybe it was my calling. Turns out I'm just good at it. Never lost, heads up. We should play sometime. Willing to put your streak on the line? Huh. <laughs> I'll risk it. Next time we port up and you're in the mood, I'm always in the mood. The Angara were super curious about the ship. A few were pretty bold. Asked me questions. What do you make of them? They know their shit. Quick-minded, sharp. They'll make good allies. Out with it already. What's the deal with you and Kalo? Anything I should be concerned about? Uh, twist my arm, I don't yet. It, it's contrasting styles more than anything. He's a blueprint guy. I'm gears and guts. Got ink on his digits, not grease, up to his elbows. If you didn't have me to balance him out, you might be in trouble. <sighs> Heck, maybe that goes both ways. Good talking to you, Gil. Anytime. I did not like the look of that Archon. Maybe the Angara will let me pitch a ten on Aya for the duration. Didn't think you were the type to run from trouble. Well, when you put it that way... <sighs> All right. Next time, keep him on the line. I might have something to say. Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. Con. 
Arrogant son of a bitch. Maybe that's redundant for a cat. He's also the first cat who bothered to talk to us. That's useful intel. True. They can communicate. They just prefer to open fire. So, what else is new? How's the search for the Asari Ark going? Nothing new. Let's stay optimistic. See you later, Cora. I'll be here. One hell of a trip this is turning out to be. Hostiles, ruined worlds, no home in sight. Everyone's getting toasty. There was a two hour argument yesterday and no one even knew how it started. That's not good. Luckily, I have the perfect way for people to unwind. Movie night. Taking a breather for a good movie? I could get behind that. Best part is, it doesn't need to be good. You still get mileage out of the bad ones. It's worth it to jumpstart everyone's pioneer spirit and all that. The Tempest database is pretty dry. Could you download a movie library from Nexus Ops to see what I've got to work with? Five time. Thanks. Everyone will appreciate it. Pathfinder. Hey, I was wondering, could you put your stamp on a project? It's for me and Jarl to work on. Call it diplomacy if you have to put it in a budget bucket. Greenlight that research, and it's all good. What's your read on the people we're working with? The squad and crew? They're all fine. You must have opinions. Your opinion's more important. What do you think of your people? The math says we have all the right qualifications. I trust that. That's probably what the Nexus is counting on. That our skills fit together to make it work. Up to us to figure it out. That's why this is our ship. So we own it. I want to make it work. We'll talk later. I know it. You're taking the Angara, old man? Strong, honorable survivors. Been a while since I encountered a new friendly species. Last time was the humans. Oh yeah, you lived through first contact with them, didn't you? If I recall, my exact words were, they're bold for being so squishy, do they know they're mostly water? Harsh, don't let Ryder hear you. Hey, Ryder. You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. Pathfinder? We can talk more later. Sure. Hello, Ryder. Meeting with Yangara is truly historic. 
I'll stay. My only comparison is Alec Ryder's experience in the First Contact War. A time of uncertainty and cultural misunderstanding. We are arguably in a similar time, yet your encounter was peaceful. I can see what humanity has learned. How are those jokes coming, Sam? Why is it so hard to find a good steak? I don't know, Sam. Because it's a rare medium. Well done. Uh... How are those jokes coming, Sam? I am formulating a new one. Thanks, Sam. Nothing more. Liam, I signed off on that project. That's great, Pathfinder. Jala Maldorov, we got our gear. Costa, Ryder. I'll bite. What's with the gun show? We're swapping armor, not weapons. Don't let him tease you. I explain the reference. You ready to go? Go. Right. The pattern on your pauldron? Family honorific. Can I wear the poncho? It's a rofshin. And no. Why? Is it religious? Wait, what? It's personal. You're not allowed. Because of status or species? Maybe it's both. Do all humans look alike? Some of you sound alike. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I know how this goes. Someone's getting offended and someone else punched. That's why we're doing it here? It's an armor swap for answers. Stuff the diplomats, don't ask. I, my turn was earlier. Nexus info packets leave a lot out. I am sorry. Was this not sanctioned? Oh, you weaseling Adi. Nevertheless, Ryder? I hope you know what you're doing. I don't need the Nexus breathing down my neck. Relax. Jar won't complain to HR or whatever Tan thinks we report to. We were joking around and realized we didn't know how to insult each other. Or how not to. Some things are so ingrained they're invisible. We didn't even know the warning sign, so we got it over with. Now we won't do it accidentally, like when we're trying to negotiate an outpost. Enough of his people want to shoot us now. Okay, I kind of get the intent. No harm, no foul. <laughs> if Jar was offended, I'd be on the floor. I'll take that kind of honest any day. We have a lot to learn, that's part of what our team is for. <laughs> Better now than when people's lives are on the line. Pathfinder. We'll talk later. I know it. Thank you, Subi. Someday I'll find out why you're always strapped.